Hey, beautiful good morning to you, wherever you are. This is yours truly, one uh, Mr. Panuka Bruno Mwemba. And um, I just wanted to show you something uh, here around climate adaptation um, in practice. Um, we've had a situation here in Zambia where it's been dry, we've had droughts, and then suddenly the heavens decided to open up. And we've had quite some intense rains, but uh, we've ended up with a situation where the rains are basically creating quite a lot of havoc in the fields now, um, carrying with it topsoils and all that. And um, overnight, tonight, we've been busy uh, trying to create some trenches to block the water. Um, and you will see, um, as I take you around, um, that... Um, yeah, we've been trying to actually work around the clock to create some of these drainages uh, so that water um, can pass. And um, yeah, it's been an overnight, you know, work. Um, and um, when it actually comes to farming, um, responsiveness is a very key issue because it's been pouring and uh, we actually had to uh, bring in these remedial measures um, immediately and we actually worked overnight um, started around 16 um, which is four o'clock for some of you that are o'clock uh, oriented and um, finished just uh, past midnight around zero two uh, so that just in case further rains come through at least would have actually blocked quite a bit of um, uh, the areas for uh, this section um, so I will take you to the other sections for you to appreciate exactly what we've been trying to do uh, in terms of just adapting uh, to this climatic condition which is excess rains um, yeah so tag along as I show you the other parts of what uh, we've been doing here uh, to try and adapt been happening is that um, water from that side uh, in these fields that we're actually trying to create has been coming in with force and then um, right here it actually managed to uh, cross, um, put these soils right here, and um, so what we're trying to do now is actually create these drainages so that water can actually be passing nicely um, from up there, and then it comes right here, and then we've created this four-way junction here to allow for the water uh, to move in this direction and then it actually goes um, in that direction. So we are actually creating these trenches around here um, as part of just adapting to these um, floods. Um, otherwise, they'll actually go with the topsoil here, and um, that's the more reason why uh, we have actually created um, these um, trenches right here. Um, and I'll show you, I think, further uh, what we're trying to do to make sure that um, this whole field is actually well um, secured. So we've had a situation where water is actually coming from these other, this other area. This is another farm um, upstream here. And then water comes all the way from here with lots of speed. And uh, this is where we have our wire fence uh, for our farm. And so what we've done is to actually create this drainage along the fence so that it actually blocks this water uh, for now um, all the way this side and this is basically just part of uh, trying to manage this avalanche of water that's actually coming upstream uh, into our fields so all this water would have actually ended up um, in our field um, yeah so but then we've blocked it by the way, I guess you can actually hear some of the farmers um, in the neighboring farm uh, using some uh, cow drawn uh, implements trying to uh, plant, given that the rains have just intensified right now. So, these are some of the sections that we are working on overnight uh, to try and uh, create these drainages so that. Um, we avoid this runaway water coming through and uh, 
yeah lots of work found quite a lot of stones here you can actually see right here um, and uh, here found a big stone so that's the drainage that we've created to block this water that's coming from this side um, of course probably the noble thing would have been to collect this water into some reservoir we'll look into that as part of water harvesting but for now um, we just had to make sure that we divert this water quickly uh, because uh, it's of essence that you react very quickly um, so that we prevent this water from going all the way uh, into these fields so that's what we are actually preventing um, and um, yeah so far I think uh, we've done a good job very quick working overnight and this is why you actually need some contractors that are just a phone call away uh, to work on some of these aspects otherwise if you delay even just overnight uh, you find that uh, you are overrun there is the uh, drainage that uh, we just did but I want you to appreciate um, exactly what we are trying to cure. So a lot of water was actually coming from that side. But what was happening is that um, we have some cabbage here. And it actually washed away our cabbage here. Uh, as you can see right here. Um, all this topsoil went um, from these rains and uh, literally all the topsoil the cabbage just remained very exposed here and so what we're actually trying to cure uh, is to avoid um, this water that's coming from that side um, block it there uh, so that it doesn't come with full force along these uh, beds um, otherwise we we'll end up with all this cabbage literally washed away so that's exactly what we're actually trying to cure here uh, to avoid all this water going um, in that direction and washing away um, the topsoils, the nutrients uh, for this section. Side, we've also had to block um, the water that was coming again upstream here. Um, remember, we have um, another blockage right at the far end there. Um, but then what we've done is the water that's coming this side uh, we also uh, blocked it basically channeling it first uh, and then it comes uh, in this manner um, because what was actually happening is that this water was getting into our papaya plantation right um, in front of me here um, and basically damaging the mounds um, and what we're doing is to basically block um that you know water um and then channeling it in this canal and then um it will basically go um in that manner um obviously we have to open up somewhere here and then joins um this other section uh going in that direction so this is what we've been doing um overnight um in trying to just uh, quickly um respond uh to this risk of our soils being washed away and uh, obviously affecting these investments right here so yeah this is just an example of uh, how you basically respond um, in terms of just adapting to some issues such as um, um, some semblance of you know flooding on the farm uh, due to the nature of the topography and uh, what we have just done here is uh, to avoid the impact on our fields the cabbage and then we've got some fruits here um, and then what the water was actually doing is to wash away the topsoils um, we tried by all means at, at the time of orienting the fields to make sure that um, this is managed but um, yeah nature is nature and um, the rains that we had two days ago um, were quite heavy and so you find um, much as you must have actually thought through some of these issues uh, nature has its way and uh, all we're trying to do is to actually adapt to this and uh, trying to see whether um, we can manage this um, uh, pretty well and uh, preserve this um, green asset uh, behind us um, so yeah there goes the trenches and uh, we hoping this will actually do the magic because um, we've already seen that um, as you can see 
up here the rain seem to be giving some warning signals because it's actually cloud cover all the way today um, and uh, the probability of heavy rains coming through uh, is very high and uh, what we needed is to actually respond very quickly and that's exactly what we've done by working overnight to make sure that uh, this is um, fixed so yeah it's been lovely hosting you uh, on Panuka Agribusiness Hub uh, YouTube channel and uh, like we always do is just to share some of these nuggets around um, farming climate adaptation mitigation um, and of course um, conserving biodiversity so this has been yours truly um, Bruno Mwemba K1 Mr. Panuka from Panuka Farm until next time have a lovely one bye bye